What's going on YouTube? So today in this video, we're doing a two year review of the Echovax N8 Pro. Plus. First off, before I start, I have a love-hate relationship with robot vacuums. I want to love them, but there's a bunch of stuff that make me just like want to stay away from them at the same time. Number one, they're very expensive. So I'm just going to start off with that, obviously. Number two, you're better off just vacuuming it with like a stick vacuum or a Dyson or something like that. Like honestly, you should just buy a Dyson instead. But it's cool for the lazy people like me. It's convenient if it worked. This is a very in-depth video, so we're going to be going through all of my pros and all of my cons, why you should buy it and why you shouldn't. I know, I said it was useless, but this is two years later. Let's get straight into it. So first off, we're going to go with the pros. Number one, it is cheaper now, obviously, because before it was $550. Now it's only about $300, $350 range, which is actually pretty good. I would buy it. Another pro is it's perfect for hardwood and it's perfect for tile. That's another pro. Another pro is also for mopping. It is good for the quiet mode for mopping as well as the first mode. The other ones is... Um, if you were to be able to do it for carpet, it would be a little bit loud. So, you know, you'd probably wake people up, especially when it empties it out. The cons are it's bad for carpet, probably seen that. Not strong enough for the PA suction availability. This one's only about 2600 PA. Most vacuums are 5000 and up. This does have a loud empty system. So whenever you actually, you know, empty it out, if you have auto empty turned on and it's scheduled for the morning, you'll probably wake everyone up. <sighs> It's very loud when it comes to the emptying system. It's also a lot of maintenance required. Motor, the bristles, the filters, the dust bin, the contact pins as well. You have to maintenance the mop pads and mop section as well. Just a lot of maintenance when it comes to this robot vacuum or basically a lot of robot vacuums within this price point. Another con is you have to make sure nothing's on the floor, mainly cables, but I would say nothing on the floor or anything flat like paper or something like that most likely would get eaten up and most likely will be damaged, especially, you know, money. If you have money laying around, then uh, it might get a little, a little torn. Another con is it does stop randomly working and that's also due to the fact that it'll randomly die mid cleaning session and it won't you know go back to its charging base it won't remind itself to do that which kind of sucks so it'll just randomly start stop working whether it's that reason or the bristles stuck or it tipped over or it's on an awkward ledge it'll stop because of that reason you do have reminders which you can turn on and turn off um there's a loud voice prompt that you can actually activate i have mine turned off so i only have notifications through the app but if you're scheduling this in the morning so you can wake up to a clean house it's not going to be a clean house especially if it messes up in the beginning of the clean so that happens a lot one in the morning we're getting this video out to you guys as soon as possible it would mean a lot to me if you guys did drop a like on the video i rarely make videos this late and i have to work in the morning so <laughs> merry christmas to all of you leave a like on the video if this did help you out it means a lot to me Let's get back into the video. Let's go through some of the features in this device. So number one is 3D mapping. You can actually set up a map within your home, divide each section. So if one section is hardwood, one section is carpet, and another section is uh, just off limits, you can go ahead and put barriers, no mop zones. You can change the cleaning preference. So if you want it to be super high on turbo plus mode or whatever it's called, if you want it to be crazy high up, on that speed you can change it to that or if it's a no mop zone you can put it on the first setting or you can put it on um, the first mode or you know anything like that and you can also change the water flow as well when it comes to mopping in those specific areas but you can buy 100 pack disposable version which is very helpful and you can easily just tear it away after each use or whatever and throw it away but you have to make sure everything is there in order for you to clean that specific area and then once it does that and it goes on to carpet or if you have the, the base station on carpet in general it's gonna have a tough time dragging the soggy mop pad over the carpet and it probably will get wet so that's just another fyi it might stink up your carpet even because it can't lift up the actual mop, mop pad like some of the premium versions out there now the emptying bag system this does have a little pull tab which i accidentally put it the wrong way on this b-roll i know I, i'm sorry about that you just basically auto close it whenever you pull it out and take it out this claims two months of usage so 60 days before you have to empty it out that's if it even worked in the first place because it does not work properly obviously the suction isn't powerful enough or it gets clogged or just doesn't take it out from the little flaps 
to actually take out all of the stuff that's in there. Bummer. Most of it ends up in the actual bin itself rather than the bag. I would say the battery lasts about 40 minutes and it usually takes about maybe 30 minutes per 500 square feet roughly. Uh, so it does, it's able to clean a decent amount. It does vary on what speed you're at and uh, if you're using a mop or not because if you're using a mop and a uh, higher speed velocity then it's going to be draining it quicker but if you're doing it on the lowest setting and the lowest water flow then it's going to be a little bit longer now when it comes to mopping like i mentioned this is perfect for mopping so if you have just hardwood or just tile this is the best one that you can get no, without a doubt but for my usage i it's just it's a nightmare because i have carpet and hardwood so it doesn't work out for me it's a nightmare it's stressful just terrible what i do for my process is obviously you can fill it up with water you can't put any cleaning solution in this version i haven't tried it but they say you don't you can't what i do is i actually pour a little bit on the uh mop pad itself and i also do pour it all over the area that i'm trying to clean and that seems to be working really good however it's not as good as obviously manually cleaning the floor with a mop um it's definitely not that good because it's not putting pressure it's basically putting its own body weight on it and pushing down but it's not even doing that it's just dragging it pretty much it's not doing any vibrations or any spinning like some of the higher end models or just some other versions available out there nowadays it does do a decent job if you're trying to just do an everyday type of a uh, mop it is pretty good once in a while you just take out the mop and just just clean it consistently it was working for like maybe a month or so and that was beautiful but then you know it doesn't always work all the time but when it was working and it was cleaning the house every day it was really clean the house was clean uh, the carpets were clean everything was nice and everything was clean but if you move stuff different obstacles in the way it'll mess up with the map settings and it'll reset randomly which sucks and then uh, you have to remap the entire house again and you probably won't have enough time for that because you have to make sure everything's out of the way and you have to make sure there's no people in the way as well because then it'll mess up the mapping system as well so there's just a lot of factors when it comes to that especially when the map resets and that happened to it's way too frequently so that's what that is without further ado thank you guys for watching it really means a lot to me that you guys do like my videos and subscribe and comment especially i've been getting a lot more comments and love on my videos recently so i really appreciate that thank you everyone for reaching 500 more subscribers within the last month that's crazy to say we almost got a thousand subscribers in one month that's crazy thank you guys so much much love thank you for watching and we are out Thank <laughs> you.